Returning now to our top story, Action News anchor Jessica Harrington is live in Oakers tonight, where some residents have been forced to leave their homes due to the heavy snowfall. Yeah, she spoke with several residents of an RV park who were ordered to evacuate and Madera County officials about the preparations for the next incoming storm. Jessica. Well, good evening, both of you. That RV park was in Bass Lake, and yesterday it was placed under a mandatory evacuation order because the weight of the snow on the roofs of those homes was putting them at risk of collapsing. Today, we are hearing from Sheriff Tyson Pogue, who is the Director of Emergency Services for the county. He talks about what's being done to get these people back into their homes and the preparations now underway for the next incoming storm. This is a disaster. Buzz Clark lives at the Sierra Springs RV Park in Bass Lake. He and his wife are just two of a handful of people who stayed behind when a mandatory evacuation order was issued Sunday. Uh, we've been without power. I think today is day 12. Looking around the park, you can see why the order was issued. Multiple carports have collapsed under the weight of the snow, and so far, two homes have also collapsed. Clark says he just escaped his own awning falling just moments after he brought in firewood and went inside. If I'd have been under there, I'd be dead. Peter and Bonnie Gingell left during a voluntary evacuation last Wednesday after days without water and power. I looked at Peter, I was like, I need a break from this, so we have to go. Now, with no estimated time on when the evacuation order will be lifted and another incoming storm, the wait has been agonizing. The, the not knowing is the biggest thing. Um, because we don't know if we've got a house to go back to. Madera County Sheriff Tyson Pogue is the director of emergency services for the area. He says six storms have slammed the area since the start of the year, straining resources and the community. This is an unprecedented snowfall, which the likes of Madera County has never seen before. So some of the um, impacts of it were were unknown. Now with another big storm on the way, he says the county is working to prepare as best it can. The county has utilized the state resources by sending Cal Fire crews to the evacuated mobile home park to assess the situation and try to make homes safe for people to re-enter. The county is also preparing sandbags and staging equipment to deal with potential flooding. You know, maybe uh, government doesn't get out there in front of the camera as much as we should to really let the public know, hey, this is what uh, we've been doing on the back end. But you know, rest assured, we are out there, we are working. Now, those who live in the mobile home park are understandably concerned about the next incoming storm. They say if that snow is still on their roofs and that rain hits, they are fearful that their roofs will collapse under all of that weight. So they are obviously asking for help. Sheriff Tyson Pogue is recommending everyone across the county prepare for the upcoming storm, whether that's getting sandbags or preparing your home for any potential flooding. And as we bring in Chief Meteorologist Kevin Musso, this is a storm that you've been tracking for the last few days. Lots of concerns, especially for all of the people up here in the mountain communities with so much snow around their homes. 